combs. Seven plastic combs glued to the head of a model in Christopher Shannon's London Fashion Week show is like a mitten crab attaching itself to a knuckle of iron three feet below the swashing pottage of the Thames. To attempt to remove one comb from this Krypton henge would be like playing Jenga of the skull. We never know how deep the teeth have bored, and let me say unequivocally, I would not want this cluster of antennae sprouting from my misshapen bonce. No kitsch quiff or pomo pomade will do for this triple crowned dome, a crown for each of my three wives, I'm told by the Saletti barber I used to visit before my single wife acquired a pair of clippers and took over, once mistakenly removing a two-inch clump from the back. You needed that like a hole in the head, she said, and tucked a stick of gammy kryptonite behind my ear. The collaboration I'm going to do with Tom is quite intricate and complicated and it's based on the island of Mallorca, a particular area there that has connections with Templars and we may be starting it in about 10 years time. <laughs> so for the moment these are like uh, interconnected dreams we, or like a telephone call to each other. There are areas of sympathy but it's not a structured collaboration and I also think of Tom uh, telling me when he was uh, a schoolboy on the other side of the river that he heard a reading by Barry McSweeney. And Barry McSweeney was very much part of a reading group that uh, I was involved with. People like Alan Fisher and Robert Shepard who are here tonight were all in that territory. And so there is a kind of DNA spiral between what Tom does as a new voice tapping these territories and some of the old things. And this is a journey that that moves in its own way in a spiral from the south coast uh, across to South Kensington. Boat building. They are not boat building, but plastering a whale to the date 1938. Bathing beauties at Bulverheim. The V of their lips gorgeously prominent in costume of the day. It's not a ship, it's a whale. A golf course, sand island on which Aboriginal tribes live for hundreds of years, sailing across the night sky, a whale in whose belly they planted a phone directory and some brown coins. Jonah, ring home, up to the elbows in sperm soap, can't tell a hand from a hacksaw, and war is rubber. South Kensington complains of gas. In the basement they're carving the dead, fag in mouth, coverall, yellow gumboots, a picture tells the story, with empire, sergeant play, his book, his dinosaur, like a skinned bus. Now, Tom's next poem, which will finish, is uh, cut-ups and process. It's a series of things happening. And just with that name and the memory of things, I'm doing a cut-up of my own here that travels between Edinburgh. This is about Edinburgh, very brief, and it moves on a journey. So, picture a room hidden behind the rock in Edinburgh. Edinburgh. At the event, I remarked on the vigour and the liveliness of this new audience. A Scottish poem by Kirch Fitters in Drink. Shyly, they brought up the book for defacement. Every one of them, apart from a deaf man with a scrum cap hearing aid and a tartan tie, came here from Hackney, from Hackney Road, here. Cut up island. Cold gusts land in the island's oily choir. Nudists lounge the peninsula. The wet acolyte rails upon the fence line, holding the good book like a gunslinger. Bet hellhole island has sheeny ether grips. Wine, thou bikini-clad ice lord. Between beams of light hang pillars, a mist, a cut-up island, injector ether as something sublime at the cratered edge of knowledge, before architecture, before nude symbolism. 
as God blinged to wind-burned radar, unfold temporary tablers, cooled fire, all the islands have protection. Thanks.